MGM Resorts International committed one of the worst PR moves in history when they sued many of the victims of the 1 October Vegas mass shooting. It was a PR fiasco, it made national news, and it ultimately did not work. And when it failed, they ultimately ended up reaching a settlement. The total settlement amount is expected to be approximately 735 to 800 million dollars. And one of those people who was involved in the lawsuit and is no longer is the gentleman I'm with right now, Roger Kennis, a former Marine and a hero. Roger was one of the people running into the gunfire that night to help save people. Thank you uh, for giving me an opportunity to tell my story. Well, it's a very interesting story because you are the only person that we know of at this point who's actually opted out of the lawsuit and fired your lawyer. I went to my lawyer and said, can you tell me who the mediator is going to be? I didn't get a response. And I, I was doing research and I said, please tell me it's not Jennifer Tagliati. And he writes me back and says, it is Jennifer Tagliati. I said, she's the one person that should never be around this case because her father is the VP of security and surveillance for MGMRI at the time of the event. And of course, it was the bad security that allowed Stephen Paddock to get over 20 weapons up in his room and fire on that crowd of over 20,000 people and ultimately kill over 50 and injure hundreds more. I confronted my attorney and said, hey, this is a conflict of interest. She should be nowhere around this. I had let my attorney go. I mean, I've talked to attorneys who've told me that, you know, this case could have gone into the billions. We're talking about over 50 people dead. We're talking about hundreds of people injured. You're really gonna tell me that Jennifer Tagliati wasn't doing a solid for MGM and her dad there. When the figure comes out around 800 million and 750 million of that is covered by insurance, pretty convenient. It's brave that you recognize this as a conflict of interest and actually left that money on the table. It's not about being a hero. It's about doing the right thing. Right. and the truth being told. This was potentially a multi-billion dollar lawsuit. Every lawyer is getting between 33 and a third percent and 40 percent in my case. Right, and the truth is that MGM won here and the lawyers won and uh, one lawyer in particular won huge. Uh, attorney Robert Eglett, who has around 2,500 of the claimants in this case, you know, between 30 and 40 percent it figures that he's gonna make over a hundred million dollars on this case without even taking it to trial. And of course, a lot of people remember Robert Eglett as the attorney who after MGM Resorts sued the victims actually said that this is the most reprehensible and awful thing he's seen in his entire legal career. In more than 30 years of practice, this is the most reprehensible conduct I've ever seen by a defendant. Later, after it becomes clear that he gets to stick over a hundred million bucks in his pocket without even going to trial, all of a sudden, Robert Eglett couldn't stop kissing MGM's butt. And as a lifelong Nevadan, I cannot tell you how proud I am that MGM is a Nevada company. They have made me the most loyal customer they'll ever have. What MGM has done here through this process and through this mediation represents the highest standard of corporate citizenship I have ever seen. And I told the lawyers from the very beginning, I said, if this isn't an above board deal, if you guys aren't given a fair shake, I'm gonna stand my ground. I want an apology to the families, you better fix security. Now all of a sudden I'm the evil guy, I'm, I'm the bad guy. But they sent me documents saying, oh, well we've tried to explain to you, you could be countersued for fraud. Lawyer Robert Eglett recently threatened to sue the NBC affiliate that ran the story about how the one October victims are angry about the conflict of interest of having a mediator in the settlement be the daughter of a former MGM Resorts VP because this gets in the way of the false fairy tale that this greedy corporation and scumbag butt kissing lawyer want the public to believe. You know, Roger, that NBC story made it clear that you're not the only one who's not happy with how this went down with this conflict of interest. There's a lot of people who are unhappy, but you're not seeing a lot of people speak out. Why is that? Other plaintiff's lawyers are asking that you could be, maybe be quiet for a bit until we can get some information out, as quote, what was told to me. They even went to the level of telling me, hey, 
this deal is going to get undone. It's going to be all your fault. The families are going to hate you. They're not going to get their money. And I'm like, you guys didn't stand and fight for us. You didn't do the right thing here. You're all going to walk away with a bunch of money. These lawyers are going to get a lot of money, but you have something more than money, Roger. You actually have integrity. It's obvious. I mean, you left money on the table to walk away from this because you thought that the whole thing was wrong. I'm not going to be surprised if they try to assassinate your character. Um, but let's not forget in all this, that you were the guy running into gunfire where bullets were whizzing around to help people and that you pulled a woman to safety. In my book, you're the hero and the lawyers are lawyers. And I recently obtained information from a person who worked directly with the lawyer on this case that some of the attorneys were expecting the damages to be in the six to seven billion range. So for MGM to get it down to 800 million, is a huge victory for them, especially since they'll only be on the hook for around 50 million with insurance covering the rest. And in my opinion, they use the daughter of a former MGM VP and a sellout lawyer to help make that happen. Vegas is a town of illusions and I think this lawsuit and the idea that everyone's happy with it when the truth is anything but is yet another illusion. And in my upcoming documentary, Money Machine, we're gonna unravel those illusions and show the greed at the heart of the one October Vegas mass shooting.